What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about what countries Norwegians like to visit. I know Norwegians actually do a fair bit of traveling and vacationing, definitely compared to people in the United States, I think. Because when you when you go on vacation or out of the country in as an American, it's a really big deal. It's a really big deal. It's very expensive. It takes lots of planning, lots of effort to travel outside the U.S. Because, I mean, we're, we really only have Mexico south or Canada to the north that border us. That's where you could maybe drive to in your car. Anywhere else, you're probably just going to travel within the United States when you go on vacation, to be honest, because it's so big, it's just tough to get anywhere. But Norway, Norway is not that gigantic. As a matter of fact, no, if I type in Norway here and pull up a map, uh, here we go, Norwegians can just drive to Sweden, maybe even Finland, you know, uh, Denmark. All, you know, there are places where you can actually physically get to. And then if you want to fly somewhere interesting, Norway is right here in the hub by the UK, Germany, Poland, France, Lithuania, you know, all the, all these amazing places, tons of other countries surrounding Norway. And, um, and the United States is just not like that. It's a lot of effort to, and a lot of time to get anywhere. So this question is very relevant to Norwegians, what countries they like to visit. And I'd like to know, because apparently it's something Norwegians do. So let's take a look, should be interesting. Hvilke land liker du å besøke? Uh, hvilke land jeg liker å besøke? Uh, jeg er veldig glad i Costa Rica. Okay. Og... See already, like the fact that she's naming so many places means she has probably visited those places. An average American has not gone anywhere in the world, probably. Maybe they've been to England or something. This random person has been to four other countries. That's insane for an American to think of being able to do. <laughs> Nå er det lenge siden jeg har vært i utlandet, men uh, jeg er glad i Thailand. Uh, og litt sånn, ja, det har vært en del i Spania, Barcelona. Ja, London har jeg aldri vært i, eller England da. Wow, a lot more diverse of countries than I ever would have thought. Are we gonna talk to a Norwegian who's gonna be like, no, I've never been out of the country. Is that even possible? Is anything on that? Right, Norwegians, because it's very cold in Norway, don't a lot of Norwegians travel to very sunny, warm places? That's like a big deciding point. Uh, and also, my family is in Colombia, because the family is very good, so it's very good to come to the place where you can see it. Um, jeg har lyst til å dra til Italia, jeg har aldri vært der, men jeg kan se for meg at, jeg kan se for meg at dette landet kommer til å like hvis jeg drar dit da. Så er det Italia definitivt, Frankrike er også høyt oppe på lista. Um, Spania, likevel godt jeg har det vært da. Hellas, Kreta, uh, veldig god mat der. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's like wild. For me. Like, if I visit one of these places in my entire life, that'll be a lifelong achievement. Veldig billig mat der. Polen synes jeg er et fint land. Jeg tenker bare sånn, både at jeg tenker bare økonomisk, men også kulturelt og historisk sett, så har de mye å by på. Øst-Europa generelt, egentlig. Yeah, a lot of places in Europe, obviously. Og ja, og så Asia i Japan skal riktig vært. Men det er ikke det bare en drøm da, det er nå bare en drøm. Oi, mange. Jeg liker egentlig alle, alle land, tror jeg. Yeah. All countries? Makes it sound like she's been everywhere on the planet. Oh, no, it's not a blending here. 
<laughs> snakker jeg egentlig ikke dialekt om i nå. Jeg sier ikke jeg, jeg sier jeg. Hvis jeg skal si noen, Sri Lanka for eksempel. Uh, Australia. Uh, Vietnam. Peru. You know, it probably makes it very, very uh, convenient for Norwegians traveling over the world that they are so good at speaking English because lots of other countries speak English as well for a second language. It's incredibly useful, actually. Yeah, I'm very glad for them. Yeah. And Praha is also a great place. It's a bio. Netherlands and... Yeah. It's a very nice place. Oh my gosh, I, there is such a wide variety of, of opinions with all these different people. It's wild. I like to travel to many places, but in the USA, I was in the I just realized no one had said uh, the USA. No one had said that. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was like, ah, don't get your hopes up. That's nice. That's nice of this guy. That's a lot of effort, because the USA is much further from Norway than a lot of other great places. Yeah, so Sverige, Denmark, the the stuff that I, yeah, man, man, I know folk and culture and the language and all. Right, right, right. Shepard Hall, Fregabro, and Bro, Little Rose Border. Frank Rigger, Fregabro, Turning Valiten. It's very glad there. My in Gang in Japan, they were extreme spanner, but they were for the Divas. Did this interviewer run into anyone who said, I have not been outside Norway? Is that just not very common? Too too far. Der jeg kom fra på mange måter. Jeg, de fleste land jeg besøker, synes jeg er spennende engel å reise til, så... Hva liker du om de landene? What do you like about those countries? Okay. Eh, det er noe Costa Rica, nok, fordi jeg har eh, tilhørighet til fra selv. Jeg er halvt halv Costa Ricansk, så derfor så er jeg... Ja. Actually, a couple of these, a couple of these people were saying that they are from another country, which is very, like, amazing. There's a lot of people here in Norway who have immigrated from an another country. I like Thailand because it's warm and exotic. It's something else than Norway, actually. Right. I like Spain, actually, because Wait, does she speak? She speaks Spanish as well. My goodness. So a lot of these places are chosen because they are like, they have a really comfortable, warm climate, right? And because the culture, of course. England, I have lust to go to the opera, like some theater or like some forskellige. Nei, både natur, folket, eh, maten, eh, ja, veldig, veldig variert. Mm -hmm. Amsterdam spesielt er på grunn bare for at det er plassen det er så mye til det. Og for at folket liksom, det er så fascinerende å se på ham og for, liksom, få oppleve andre kulturer da. Not many people saying the United States, are there? Spesielt nederlandinger synes det er veldig fascinerende folk egentlig. Bare hvordan de lever og, i byen og så bare. Atmosfæren egentlig, landet. Veldig fint. Nei, det er jo ikke så veldig varmt i Norge, så det blir jo gjerne varme, da. Sol og varme. Ja. Yeah. For de kanskje de fleste nordmenn velger å reise til right, yeah, Spanien, yeah. Frankrike og Sydeuropa. Og når du kommer til Sverige og Danmark, så er det gjerne... Ja, du får reise litt vekk. Uh, sett litt nye steder, men det var mye kjent. Uh, well, I guess the climate in Sweden and Denmark is really similar to Norway, huh? Yeah, that's folk. Yeah, folk like that. If you could race where you want, completely gratis and immediately, where would you have gone? If you could travel anywhere, completely free and instantly, where would you have gone? Okay, so this is really, where would they go if they could go anywhere? 
one place, where would they go? Bali, Maldives. I am not familiar with those places at all. <laughs> yeah. England, I'm familiar with. That's a good choice. Japan. Japan, it's probably pretty uncommon for Norwegians to have visited Japan. Like, not a lot of Americans get to visit Japan, so that's a good one. That's like a rare opportunity. If it's gratis, if you want to go here, then I'll go to Japan. For you, I was more and more fascinated by Japanese culture. How did they just like... Yeah, Japanese culture, very, very different from Norway. Very, very different from America. Very interesting. How did they just like... I don't know, I just feel like I'm really fascinated by it. I feel like it's something special, it's just like how they just... Lev, egentlig. Bare helt liksom kunsten de har, og bare folkeslaget de har, og bare, ja. Nå vil jeg nok kanskje reise til, ja, til Stillehavet. Fiji, eller Maldivene, eller Maldivene er ikke Stillehavet, men jeg vil nok reise til de stedene, for du ser jo alle disse bildene av i alle disse strandene, og hvor flott og fint og... Og beaches. Great and beautiful and beaches. Well, funny enough. I think a lot of people on the world choose to go to Norway because Norway, these people are living in one of the most beautiful, scenic places in the world. So it's kind of funny to hear it from a Norwegian's point of view where they're like, oh, I want to go here and there because it'd be so interesting and beautiful. And it's like, yeah, but you actually happen to live in a place that's pretty amazing. So I will not rest it for the uh, show. Skal vi se... Akkurat nå har jeg tenkt mye på Sør-Amerika, for jeg har aldri vært der. Så kanskje Chile. Hvis jeg bare måtte trekke et eller annet ut av hatten. Ja, Americans don't really travel to South America much. Americans are just obsessed with going to Europe, to be honest. Hvilke land har du ikke lyst til å besøke? Which countries do you not want to visit? <laughs> oh no. Am I finally going to hear more uh, Americas now? Wow. Wow. She's not even tempted. She has no desire to visit the United States. Wow, okay, okay. Even given the opportunity, wouldn't it? Wow. Russland. Yeah. It's... Right, right. A little bit of a political... Yeah. A little bit of a political... Yeah. A little bit of a political... Maybe Tyskland. Because I know about the history of the other world and that's not that it's just that it's... Okay. Uh, a lot of Americans uh, want to visit Germany. Americans don't really view it like that. Like, oh, their history with World War II. Americans don't really care about that anymore. Uh, <laughs> Oh, hope you don't have any trouble. I think I'm less likely to go to maybe a war-era land, as we hear on the news. Obviously, you don't want to go vacation where there is currently an active war going on. I don't know if we're going to start to ram up, because it can quickly take a break, but the one who knows, knows where it's at. It's not a war-era, at least. I've never been there. Jeg tror jeg er mer nysgjerrig av natur, så jeg tror jeg kunne tenkt meg å reste i ganske mange forskjellige land, ja. Hadde det vært mulig, ja. Bare for å ha sett. Både kultur og språk og mat og... Ok, så kanskje hun ville være villig 
to visit the United States. <laughs> Thank you. You know, not too many of these Norwegians said that they would not visit the U.S. So, that's nice. Just the one. On a turn. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's because of principles. Yeah, as soon as I say that, uh, the next person. But, but I understand. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion on that. I get it. I don't have anything to do with anyone. I don't have to think about it. I don't want to go to a place where there's war. So I would like to avoid Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan. And there it's very funny. Sure, sure. That's what I would like to do. Right. It would be very strange to go to some of these things. Okay, a lot of the people here being very practical. Very practical. They don't want to go where there's conflict. Syria is a conflict-filled land. Egypt is also, I think, a little... It's not so high. Yeah, no. What can it be? It's also a little interesting to get out of lands like North Korea, which has a lot of inscrenched rights, and also it's a little fascinating. North Korea is the one place that, no matter how interesting you find it, no American really wants to visit North Korea, just out of, like, fear, honestly. Uh, that man is keen to see where the man is and where the man is and where the man is from. I come from Bergen, which is Norway's third largest city. Yeah, Norway's second largest city, Bergen. I actually know that one. Wow. I'm from Vestlandet. Very fine city. Ja, en veldig sær egen dialekt. Veldig lett å kjenne igjen at noen er fra Bergen. Jeg kommer fra... Jeg er født i Stavanger, da. Stavanger! Stavanger, another city I've seen. Så Vestlandet. I'm starting to recognize some of these places. Så... Men så begge foreldre mine er født i Egersund, så jeg har litt sånn blanding av Stavanger ned mot Sørlandet, da. Jeg kommer fra Vestfold. Fra Larvik. Vestfold? That's like southeast. I came from Vega, so the Vega variant is my main dialect. Vega, that's sort of in the center of Norway. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Yeah, that's the island of Vegaland. Oh, it's an island. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked into a lot of the Norwegian islands to be honest. So it's just us on the Vega that have the dialect that I have. I came from Sømna, Nordland fylke. Jeg kommer fra Ålesund, og det gjør dialekten vi også. Jeg er fra Nes i Akershus, eller Viken heter det nå. Ok. Så ja, så har jeg noe farmor og farfar fra Toten. Så det er en liten blanding, men jeg bruker den ikke så veldig mye her i Trondheim. De har lært meg mye som blir til Trondheim. Trondheim. I know Trondheim as well. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and... Ok. Pretty good. Pretty good, you know, this was by Simple Norwegian. I have to give it a like. I only got my feelings hurt a little bit. Uh, countries Norwegians like to visit. One guy said he'd like to visit America, <laughs> so that's good. But this was not really about hearing if Norwegians want to visit the United States. That's not what this is about. I was interested in learning about what kinds of places and what variety of countries Norwegians on average like to visit. And it sounds like Norwegians are pretty open to visiting all places around the world, basically. Especially if it happens to be beautiful or warm or, or have a nice climate. Um, so that makes a lot of sense to me. And I think it's true what I was thinking at the beginning of this video. It seems like all these Norwegian people that were interviewed have traveled a lot. And a lot of Americans do not travel much at all. I don't know the stats behind that, but that's my general, general observation. So this is very interesting to learn about this. Coming from a, a country like Norway, that the people do a lot of traveling, they're very worldly, no different languages. It's so fascinating, so different than the United States, which makes it very interesting. Anyway. 
If you found this interesting as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, things in Norway that I've never seen, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.